What up, what up, what up? Beautiful people. Back with Mr. Harris on another one. On another tip. So, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for tuning in with me here. On this beautiful day. In this video, I wanted to touch on... I want to touch on investing for the long term. You know, there's a quote that goes, we greatly overestimate what we can accomplish in one year. We greatly underestimate what we can accomplish in 10 years. As I, you know, look at cryptocurrency, I look at Bitcoin and I look at how Bitcoin's inception from 2009 to basically 2019, 2020, it's increased tenfold, a hundredfold. It, it's going crazy. Now, I, you know, whatever you think about cryptocurrency, let's understand that it is here to stay. It is going to be a part of the future. How big or how small, we don't know for sure. What we do know is that the government is printing money, sending money out to people left and right. Our dollars are decreasing and going, uh, losing its value on a daily basis. And so that's why people are looking at Bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, to store their assets to a degree. Now, do I think it 100% will replace gold? I'm not sure because central banks are not storing up Bitcoin. They are storing up gold, you know, and we understand that banks such as Chase and Goldman Sachs have been caught red handed manipulating the price of silver and gold. And that's why I think it is imperative for people to have physical silver and gold in their possession. That's why we see the price of gold and silver, mainly gold, go up tenfold. However, we have not seen it yet with silver so much, but silver has gone up in value as well. And I believe that silver is one of the most undervalued assets presently. Either way, we're in 2021. This is a new decade, 2020 from 2030. Okay? We also have to understand that, you know, we are, they are pushing us into the industrial, the fourth industrial revolution, uh, the future of robotics, AI, and technology play, playing a bigger part in our lives and society than it ever has in, in the past. No matter what, we have to have a long-term perspective, and I always talk about this on my videos. We have to think long-term. We have to look at things from a long-term timetable. And that's why I say that we have to invest for the long-term. Part of what I'm doing for myself is, yesterday I totally rebalanced my asset allocation because I said to myself, I was too heavily invested in cryptocurrency. I said to myself, right now, I'm more concerned with preserving my wealth than having my wealth very volatile in crypto or even the market. Because I also believe that there's a good chance that we won't see a lot of uh, growth in the market. There was an article that came out that stated that in the, for the next 10 years, we're not gonna see a lot of growth in the stock market just because the stock market is overinflated and I believe we are due for a correction. At the same time, me personally, of course I'm gonna to continue to put into my retirement, uh, which is also gonna be long-term. That's, that's, of course, that's long-term. And so what I've basically done is restructured my portfolio where I have a very small portion in a brokerage account, a small portion in retirement, but in the precious metals, I rebalance myself to where I have a lot more precious metals. And I put a smaller, I took a, a most of it out of crypto just because I did not want to be, you know, when, when, they come, when it comes to investing, they always say, you don't invest more than you're willing to lose. And for myself, I had to say to myself, if this portfolio, because Bitcoin has a, 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 a tendency sometimes to correct itself 60, 70, 80% of its value. And I have to say to myself, 
if my crypto corrected itself 80 per, 60 to 80 percent of its value how would i feel about that and of course i didn't like my answer you know so i said to myself okay i'm going to restructure it and now my income going forward i'm putting small amounts continuously into bitcoin ethereum and other assets but i said to myself mentally no matter what this money is for the future this money is not to be sold not to be taken out if i had started putting into bitcoin 10 years ago in its first inception and i heard about it i heard people talking about it i'm sure we all heard people talking about it to some degree or shape or form when it first came out and if i if i put that money back when i was working at burger king if i put my burger king money because that was 10 years ago for me if i put my burger king money into cryptocurrency back then i would easily have six figures and so i'm saying to myself into my 40s 20 20 uh 31 i'll be 40 i'll be f turning 40. i'm saying to myself what is it that i want for my 40s where do i want to be financially and so i'm just like screw it this money here is for the future even the money i put into my brokerage account that is for the future i'm investing for the future my retirement money, future. Er everything and anything is for the future. The books I read today is for the future. And that's how we have to think. We have to continually think for the future and invest for the future. Because I, I personally believe that a good 10 years in the market, buying, buying, uh, buying certain stocks, you know, my, my uh, retirement portfolio is heavily, is heavily uh, 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 aggressive to where I'm 100% in stocks, no bonds. You know, I'm, I'm heavily invested in terms of an aggressive portfolio for my retirement. 10 years, that's gonna look amazing. Constantly putting in small amounts every time I get a, I get a commission whatever also little things here and there I put some away I put some away I put some away so that's just my mindset and that's just what I want to share with you folks we have to constantly invest for the future think for the future and put away for the future thanks for tuning in uh, subscribe to the channel like the video I'll see you back on another one